Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part two of the 1765 live stream, I do believe, by Owen Benjamin. How life sucks, how nothing's getting better, and you should be full of despair. That's, that's demonic. I'm unemployed. What he's talking about is a piece of art by a musician, and he's just throwing this blanket statement out there, and it's not true. Art is despair at at certain points because art is the reflection of the human condition and that does not mean that it's satanic i make accusations against owen being a luciferian because of his tactics because of his uh ethical and moral behavior or lack thereof two different things and i'm grateful i had a job to begin with so i can become unemployed unions are gay there you go I don't have 90 acres of land. I have 10 acres of land. Think about it. Okay, we don't even own 90 acres. And that right there is the motivation behind what Owen is saying. I don't have this, so he had to have done other things. I listened to him for the last 24 minutes, and I was wondering what the motivation was. Because he has been somewhat successful in the artistic world of entertainment. And so it didn't make any sense to me for him to be saying the things that he was, but here it comes out. I don't even have this, and I've done all of this. I've taken so much money from so many people under false pretenses. The Bertaria land scam, the investment scheme of 2020 during a worldwide catastrophe. The land in the Ozarks, yeah. We own 33 acres. We're still crowdfunding for more, so if you want to contribute, please do. It's at uh, BertariaCampgrounds.com. 33 acres. No. It's huge. Don't do that. Don't give to that because it's just giving. I really do think that whenever the dust settles and whenever all the stones are overturned and everything done in the shadows is brought to light, we're going to see some things that are going to blow people's mind just because of the person that Owen Benjamin is. I'm like so grateful that we've been able to do that so far. Oliver Anthony owns 300% more land than that. 3x. Three times more land than we own in the Ozarks. You can get zero down USDA construction loan. I'm going that route. Okay, Moon Jazz. <sighs> um, it's hard. We have a tiny house on 18 acres. And we had a hard time getting a mortgage because of it. And Moon Jazz, I know you've been really, really uh, digging in on this guy. Uh, and I'm not going to ban you for having a different opinion. But you just keep contradicting when I'm saying things that I know a ton about. You think you can get a 0% down payment on raw land for construction? You're probably being swindled. Or somebody's backing it and you're not disclosing that information, and that's not fucking cool. All right? <laughs> like, like that's not that's not a nice thing to do to people, Moon Jazz. I've bought and sold ten condos and houses, at least, in my life. I know exactly. I just got Moon Jazz, stop, or you'll be banned. All right? You're not you're not saying things that are helpful to people, and I don't think they're true. So you just got a construction loan on I'm not sure if the guy's name is or the person's name is Moon Jazz, but it sounds like Moon Jazz is feeling the repercussions of not uh, falling in line with the philosophy that Owen likes to push, which is a high trust community, which means shut up whenever you're going against him. Whenever whenever there's pushback from the cult leader, Big Bear, Big. That means shut up. And the only reason why Moon Jazz or whatever that person's name is, isn't being banned right now for life is because Owen's livelihood depends on this cult fest coming up this coming weekend, this coming weekend in real time. This is, this video is coming out today. The the day that I'm doing this video this day. And so this weekend, today is Tuesday. I, I believe. This weekend is the cult fest. And so we will see, in my opinion, changes in Owen Benjamin's uh, demeanor, facial expressions, and the way he expresses himself after that. I want to throw in possibly, (laughs) just because he has shown so much restraint over the last couple of months, more so than he has. And I say a couple of months. I'm going to say probably within the last month for sure of not b- banning people for life and and just uh, not being the 
trash human being that he truly is, in my opinion. He's he's hiding it way better than I ever thought that he would be able to. Raw land with no credit and no money down. They just gave you money. What bank? And did anyone co-sign on it? Do you have any money in the bank? I have a very, very hard time believing that, Moon Jazz. It's hard to get that type of, uh, uh, to get a construction loan with no money down on raw land you don't own with no, uh, with no collateral is, is not possible unless you're dealing with a loan shark or uh, a liar. <laughs> you're telling me right now, Moon Jazz. So you're telling me that this guy, this ginger here, uh, that's sitting here being like, that said he, he sold his house to buy 90 acres of raw land. You're, you're telling me that he did zero down. So, he, so he, he bought a house zero down as a wage slave in his 20s. I won't let this go. They ran my credit look into USDA. I'm not Moon Jazz. I think you are being very deceptive. They, he, <laughs> Owen, this is the first time that I've uh, paid attention to this. This is not the first time that Owen has presented this screenshot, but uh, Rumble will not let me zoom. And I don't have, let me see. It's already paused. All right. So this says, never had... So I don't like this. It's it just smacks of whining and complaining. So he oh <laughs> took a screenshot, <clears throat> circled it, <clears throat> and this is Wrangler Star Richmond, north of Richmond. Wrangler Star reaction. Cody, I've spent many hours watching your older videos. It was part of what inspired me to sell my house, but raw land and start off start the off grid life. And now here I am, getting roasted by the man himself. I love the internet. Oh, that's him. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> so this is all about jealousy of Wrangler Star uh, from Owen. Owen is, is jealous that he actually did uh, talk a whole lot of trash about this. Uh, what's his name? Oliver Anthony and uh, he didn't he didn't get a comment which Wrangler Star is still on YouTube by the way and um, I have no idea if Wrangler Star is still on UATV I hope he I sincerely I hope my hope is to God Almighty that Wrangler Star is not on UATV anymore table and you're interacting with your knights and one just keeps being so the united states department of agriculture okay bell bell reaver says i put 27 percent down on my new car and my rate is seven percent um okay it's, it's because i'm interacting with the with the chat fuck that ginger there's good info no it's not when is he not interacting with the chat i just recorded a couple of uh minutes without actually recording and so i really i can't go back and listen to it this is all done in one take. It's all done. Uh, I don't listen to it beforehand. Everything that I say to you is is my actual first reaction, hopefully. And uh, so, yeah, this is going to be sloppier than I would like it to, probably. Uh, please don't push high interest rate usury on my audience. Thank you, Moon Jazz. And if you do it one more time, you're out of here. I'm going to make you a, a, a rule. Uh, don't push... Uh, usury in the chat. Do you have some good porno sites to throw to people too, Moon Jazz? This is how he acts whenever he gets one piece of constructive criticism or just somebody that is questioning or not going oh, or not going with him wholeheartedly. He accuses them of pornography and usury. That's what he does. It's so blatantly obvious. It's a tactic of cult leaders abusive predatorial people people that abuse and groom children use these tactics okay right now if somebody is telling you that they can give you a construction loan and a raw land loan with zero money down you're going to be raped you're going to be permanently fucking raped and if somebody is pushing it uh you might be like oh no he knows a lot about about red mercury and the holocaust D don't okay moon jazz you're not allowed to push that here. let me guess you also want people to go watch your dirty porno movies 
Oh, no, it's good information. Let me tell the bears about 0%. What part about me do you think I want you shilling fucking de- What part about me do you think that I want you talking good about anybody else <laughs> is what he's saying right there. <laughs> that, that's that's literally what he's saying. What, pa- what part about me are you not talking about? Because you're not talking about me. You're talking about somebody else. No, you back me up. That's what this high trust community is. You shut up whenever I tell you to shut up. And I don't even have to tell you to shut up. It's just if I, if I say no, that means shut up. Abusive cult behavior is what can be found in Owen Benjamin. Zero percent down, highly, highly predatory fucking debt to my audience. The United States government offered to help me build a greenhouse that I turned down because if you read the contract, at any point they're allowed to go onto your property to inspect it, okay? If you fall for those things, you're fucking stupid and you're not allowed to promote it in my fucking chat, Moon Jazz. This chat is not a right, it's a privilege. (sighs) Oliver Anthony is my chemical romance for conservatives. My chemical romance once sang a song called I'm Not Okay, I Promise. I'm sure Moon Jazz Bear has cut himself and jacked himself silly to that song because he's also not okay. He promises. It's funny that the person with zero uh, original artistic bone in his body is... He is chopping, attempting to chop down genuinely artistic people because... He either doesn't understand it or he's trying to spin it. Now, I'm not saying that there's not demonic forces out there in music and art and whatever, but listening to the person that is talking right now, Owen Benjamin, telling you, hey, no, yeah, this Anthony Oliver, whatever his name is. Well, just a quick question. When was the last time that Owen actually had a piece, artistic piece, that he presented to the world that was original, like in a song or story. You might be able to say his sketches, maybe, but there was other people involved in that. Yeah, none. I don't think any, to be honest with you. Not that I know of. Not original, anyway. No fucking way they're doing zero down loans that aren't for 10%. Plus. Not okay. Not only that. If you're getting it from the United States, I've not looked into this at all. If you're getting a quote-unquote loan for 0% down for construction on raw land by the United States Department of Agriculture, if that's what he's saying, you, you don't own that, and it's one of the worst traps imaginable. Okay? That isn't possible. Why wouldn't more people do that? Like, why? So, what's your... I'm just going to... I'm, I'm, you can uh, answer my question, and then you got to shut up, or you're banned for life. What's your uh, interest rate? What's your usury rate? Uh, Moon Jazz Bear, like how much uh, interest do you owe on the money you don't have? Just saying interest is not usury, in my opinion. I don't know what, where his motivation for throwing usury out there the way that he is, but interest can have a just balance. And if you accept a loan from someone, interest in a just balance is not wrong. There have, there have been people in my life that has uh, given me money loan me money with absolutely zero interest, and I insist on paying them back with interest every single time without a shadow of a doubt. That's how that goes down. And there's been people that I've loaned money to or given money to and didn't get anything back. And that's fine too. It's not great, but it's fine. I don't give or loan with the intention of getting anything back. No, you don't get. If somebody asks you for money and if you can't afford it, say no. Simple as that. Self-preservation, especially if you have a family. Now, if you're a single man and you've got $10,000 income a month and you've got 20 grand in the bank, somebody says, hey, like you're passing by somebody, Can I, do you have some change? Give them money, you cheap bastard. Like, <laughs> but... If you have a family and you're making ends meet, a no is not a bad answer. It's not ev- it's not an evil answer. What's the collateral you're putting up for zero? But interest is not evil just because it's interest. That's stupid. You're you're providing a service. It's the just balance that makes it justifiable. Percent down. And just remember, if you default on that, uh, which you will probably, 
uh, you fuck over all your neighbors. People like you that do 0% down high interest loans, uh, you know, fuck over the whole neighborhood. That's why everything's 7% interest on 0%. Okay. Which you probably will do anyway. Who wants to be around this guy? <laughs> the, I, I, the more that I look at this guy, the more that I listen to him, the more that I realize the only reason why anybody will ever allow this this human being, Owen Benjamin, to continue doing what he's doing is because he is Hollywood. That's the only thing that he has going for him. He doesn't have an original thought. He doesn't have any skills that he could train anybody with. There's nothing there except for his previous Hollywood experience. I have a very, very, is that in Canada? What, what country are you in, Moon Jazz? Are you in Denmark? Sounds like a bait and switch setup. You fix it, we take it. It's my point stance. If you're 30 and you've already sold a house to buy raw land because you listen to Wrangler Star, you shouldn't sing whiny bitchy songs about how the world sucks. If Moon Jazz Bear has any issues with... No, you should just do videos every day explaining how the world sucks. Like, what? There, is there so much detached reality from him? Is there so little self-awareness? <laughs> if you're listening to Wrangler Star, there's so many layers of jealousy in this one little... Because I, I, I'm so thankful for my patience. Because I wanted to skip it, man. I spent... The last video was 50 minutes long. There were a couple of moments where I wanted to just skip ahead. There was multiple in this one, and this one's we're 32 minutes in. 16 minutes in, I think. Let me grab some uh Yeah, 16 minutes in. So there were so many more in this one. But this is uh this is learning material material right here. The ability to acknowledge that Owen is, in fact, a jealous, pathetic excuse for a comedian, at the very least. Because he, 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 portray, he portrays himself. That's one of the biggest masks that he wears. Is, oh, no, I was just kidding, guys. No, no, no. You're emotionally weak. You're masculinely insecure. Nothing you say makes any sense, yet you do portray yourself in a certain way. And the only way that that portrayal that you do for yourself, Owen, makes any sense is if it is in the the, the veil, in the, the goggles of the bear, the bear goggles. That's the only way any of this makes any sense whatsoever. At that point, he can go listen to fuck Indiana. Okay, I... Okay, if anybody's dumb enough to listen to that stupid motherfucker, there's no jazz on the moon. Okay, moon jazz? Jazz is... <laughs> there's no jazz in the moon. There's no jazz in the... And you... <laughs> um, okay, and I'm, that was a... Uh, that might have been... That was mixed with... Uh, that was a real laugh mixed with a sad sadness. <sighs> Had a quarter of a way through that laugh, I was overwhelmed with sadness. Because this person surrounds himself, Owen Benjamin, surrounds himself with people. What what kind of mental, uh, what's going on with this right now? He said he's calling this grown person, uh, presumably, this other human being, Moon Jazz. So he's not even having real conversations with real people. He's having... Uh, manipulated conversations with the manipulated because there's no real names to it. Moon Jazz. And the first thing that he says is, well, there's no, <laughs> the dude says I'm from in Indiana. He says, well, there's no, there's no jazz on the moon. So you're full of crap. Music for people with a broken mind. Have you, is it adjustable rate interest? Moon Jazz is... Let's... Okay, if anybody's dumb enough to listen to that stupid motherfucker, there's no jazz on the moon. Okay, Moon Jazz? Jazz is music for people with a broken mind. Have you, is it adjustable rate interest, Moon Jazz? What's your collateral? This is the hostility. This is, a, uh, I, in my opinion, a very good example of Owen Benjamin saying things he's coping right now. 
If you were in Andrew's chat and this video was on Andrew's channel, The Crucible, you would be saying cope, 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 cope. Because this is him coping. And then he's going to say, no, I wasn't really mad. I, 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 I'm a comedian, man. I'm a roast comedian. No, you're a pathetic excuse for a comedian. With uh, As a human being with emotional uh, shortcomings. And this is the outcome of that. What fucking banker would give you free money without collateral? Do you listen to Jazz, Moon Jazz? He's lying? Of course he's lying. He's either lying or he's been tricked. If there's one thing I know, it's debt. So what part about Jazz music do you... Uh... And if you, if you haven't picked it up yet, what he's doing right now while he's talking crap to somebody that gives him money, he's opening letters putting letters off to one side and putting money off to the other side. And there's probably some kind of a system because I, from what I hear through the grapevine is that you have to pay at least 20 bucks for him to read your letter. So there's probably certain places where he puts things, gold, silver, whatever. I don't think he's been receiving as much silver as he used to. Uh, but. Do you like, is it the, the frantic chaos and the nonsense? So jazz on the moon, is that is that really how you want to define yourself? Oh, now Owen's going at poor moon jazz. Moon jazz is pushing predatory high interest loans in my chat. So he's going to be roasted. Roasted. <laughs> roasted. Roasted. I'm going to stop laughing because that, that was a fake laugh. I'm trying to build this up for something that it's not. I don't know why, but. The ADO offer you 9.11%. Listen, Big Bear, you just cut your wheat. Okay, if you've been a homeowner, I was never a homeowner by 30. I didn't, I've never owned a house at 30. When I was 30 years old, I was a very happy guy, very grateful. And I'd never bought and sold a home for a profit. At 30, I was a, gr a grateful. He's not even grateful now. He's not. That sounds crappy to say about another grown man who has as much as he has, but he's not grateful. If you listen to the words that he says, he's not grateful whatsoever. He pretends to be. But if you if you actually listen to what he says, he's not grateful. And then listen to my favorite fucking YouTuber and went and bought raw land, and then I just and then I do despair music for the devil. I've been selling my soul, sucking dicks all day. Listen to jazz music, cause I'm full blown gay. My name is Moon Jazz. The USDA making me feel real gay. Seven percent with no money down by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. You know, jazz means come, right? And then we'll move on. We'll make up Moon Jazz, but. I Sometimes, and this is very important, I do believe this is very important. Sometimes you should just take a breath. Doesn't matter if it's through your nose. Sure, it could be. I encourage it through the nose, could be through the mouth. Just breathing, just taking a moment to breathe is very good. I've seen you ankle biting for a little bit about the ginger, and I'm like, it's super annoying. All right, you can have your own opinion, but like, imagine if, like, pockets of the future, right? I listen to all the irony of this guy, this failed comedian, talking crap about a dude that wrote an original song. It blew up, got viral, got mentioned by Joe Rogan. A lot of people are liking it, a lot of people are listening to it. Whatever it is does not matter to me whatsoever in this moment because I have not listened to it from the beginning to the end. I have no idea. The only thing that I'm doing is analyzing Owen's impression of this and his reaction to it. And I am here to say, without a shadow of a doubt, jealousy, 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 envy, envy, envy. And the irony that this guy is sitting here trashing an actual artist that wrote a song, presumably, just two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, this same guy, Owen, was so pissed off that a nationally segregated television show was using a piece of Bach music with some uh, beats on top of it. And he was spiraling. They're using my song. Okay, whose song was? Well, I mean, it was Bach, but I mean, how was it yours? I threw a beat on it. When? Can you show us the proof? No, I can't because screw Coddington. <laughs> The irony is so thick. The embarrassment should be so thick. This should be a learning experience for Owen, but it's not. And that's one of the reasons why it's easier and easier to say, 
that Owen Benjamin is a dangerous cult leader. Predatorial cult leader. And he loves RFK still, kind of. And he loved that song. Imagine if I went into his comments and I was like, no, that song is fucking great. Or if I was like, you, sir, you, you know that do you guys did you guys have dads? Like I had a flamboyant fucking opera singing. Oh, so he's pit. He's pissed. He's legitimately pissed off because Wrangler Star got a comment from the guy from the actual artist, and Owen didn't. Dad, and I still learned that. I think I learned it from my brother about how to be a male with other males. You don't just go. Well, I mean, or who buys raw land that immediately becomes a dead fucking opera singing dad? And I still learned that. I think I learned it from my brother. Hey, or, or if I was like. You, sir, you, you know that, do you guys, did you guys have dads? Like, I had a flamboyant fucking opera singing dad, and I still learn that. I think I learned it from my brother about how to be a male with other males. You don't just go, well, I mean, or who buys raw land that immediately becomes a deadbeat loser? He doesn't farm the land, and he bought it off a house he already sold at 30. It's fucking gay and whiny and just stu- and stupid. And Moonjack. That 15 seconds, or whatever that was, is insane. Who buys raw land that immediately becomes a dead fucking opera singing dad? If I ankle biting for a little bit about the ginger and I'm like it's super annoying all right you can have your own opinion but like imagine if like pockets of the future right I listen to him and he loves RFK still kind of and he loved that song imagine if I went into his comments and I was like no that song is fucking great or, or if I was like you sir imagine sharing a different opinion with somebody that you listen to <laughs> like what I mean how dare any of you that are listening to this tell me that I'm wrong or give me some constructive criticism or <laughs> correct me on anything that I say. How dare you? <laughs> ban for life. No, I'm not going to ban you because I'm a gracious <laughs> God King in this universe. What? You, you know that did you guys did you guys have dads? Like I had a- Did you have dads? And then he's going to mention his homosexual father. And then he's going to say that he probably learned it from his brother, the ability for a man to speak to another man. But one of the one of the longest running things, things I said, but I mean themes, is that he has no idea how to communicate with another man or woman, for that matter. He does for that matter. Both on the same level in this circumstance. He has no idea how to communicate with another human being. Owen Benjamin does not listen to what he says right now. Flamboyant fucking opera singing dad. And I still learn that. I think I learned it from my brother about how to be a male with other males. You don't just go how to be a male with other males. That has been probably one of the most repeated comments in my videos by me is that Owen does not have the ability to communicate with other males. He doesn't at all, not even a little bit. So I can just imagine what it's like to communicate with this guy on a more than a couple of minutes. I think he's smart enough to be able to manipulate his way through momentary glances, interactions in the real world. I do, or there would be a lot more stories out there. But there's a reason why anybody that's ever been close to him is no longer close to him over an extended amount of time. There's a reason why that's a thing, a theme, thing, theme. Well, I mean, I... Who buys raw land that immediately becomes a deadbeat loser? He doesn't farm the land, and he bought it off a house he already sold at 30. It's fucking gay and whiny and just stu- and stupid. And Moonjazz is like, well, I just got raw land for 0%. And me talking about Joe Rogan and Steven Crowder, who I said, he was alpha over me, and I loved it. <laughs> it's not gay and whiny. 
<laughs> what? He was alpha over me and I loved it. And then I'll spend the next three years telling y'all that he's gay and I'm not. I swear to God, guys, I've never even kissed a dude. Owen Benjamin. I'm down with a predatory interest rate. Is there adjustable rate mortgage, Moon Jazz? How long is it at 7% for? Is it six years? Three years? Seven years? You know what adjustable rate mortgage means, right? Do you understand how predators work? Ooh, nice little super chat there. I could use a little money. <laughs> Holy mother of turpentine. Do you understand how predators work? Oh, there's a lot of money there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Synchronicities, guys. He already sold at 30. It's fucking gay and whiny and just stu and stupid. And Moon Jazz is like, well, I just got raw land for 0% down with a predatory interest rate. Is there adjustable rate mortgage, Moon Jazz? How long is it at 7% for? Is it six years? Three years? Seven years? You know what adjustable rate mortgage means, right? You understand how predators work? Ooh, nice little super chat there. I could use a little money. You understand how predators work? Ooh, nice little super chat there. Wow. Oh, my. I've been blowing it on this fucking, on some of this stuff. Prepping for, uh... This festival. I know a lot of you guys have too, so everyone save their money except Moon Jazz. Moon Jazz, why don't you give me a fucking super chat with all your free money that the government gives you? Or you fuck over all your neighbors. Ooh, that's a nice super chat. Nice. Jazz means come. Wrangler Star has All right, so that's gonna be the <laughs> the second time. Jazz means okay. Uh this is the Texas Go Radio Show. I'm your host, Victorious. As always, till next time.